Hi, welcome to the fifth video in my series on solving simultaneous equations by elimination. In this fifth video, what I'm going to be doing is solving question number five. In the previous videos, I've been solving one, two, three, and so on. And in number one, I showed you the method of elimination, how to do it. So in this one, as usual, what we do is, first of all, we need to label our equations one and two. So we'll just label that one, one and two. And looking at this, I'm trying to eliminate, as usual, either the x's or the y terms. Now, because the x terms are different from one another, there's no way that I can eliminate these. But the y terms here are exactly the same. Both are plus four y's. So the only way I can eliminate these y terms, because they're exactly the same, is by subtracting the two equations. And I can do either equation 1 minus 2 or equation 2 minus 1. I'm going to do equation 1 minus 2, but I would definitely encourage you to try 2 minus 1 as well. You should end up with exactly the same value of x as I do. So if we do this, what we've got here is 5x take away x. 5x take away x is going to give us 4x. And to prove to you that the y terms here give us 0, all we're doing essentially is we've got plus 4y. Always read the sign in front of your y term. We've got plus 4y. And then we are subtracting okay, the other y term, which is plus 4y. And because we've got two signs here which are different, a minus and a plus, we replace them with a minus. So you've got 4y minus 4y, which is 0. So the y terms get eliminated when we subtract our two equations. And then we've got 13 subtract 9, which is going to be 4. So if we divide now both sides by 4, we end up with x equaling 4 divided by 4, which is 1. And what we do now is substitute this value of x equals 1 okay, into either equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter which one we substitute it into. I'm going to substitute it into, say, equation 1. All right? Leave it up to you to substitute into equation 2. Check it out. You'll get the same value, or should do, as I do for y. So if we substitute x equals 1 into 1, we've got, therefore, 5 times 1, okay, plus 4y equals the 13. And so, therefore, we've got 5 plus 4y equals 13. And if I take... 5 from both sides, I've got 4y equals 13 take away 5, which is 8. Divide both sides now by 4, and you end up with y equals 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So summarising, we therefore got x equals 1 and y equals 2. Check these out, that they work in both equations. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 times 2, which is 8, 5 and 8 does make 13. And for the second equation, 1 plus 4 times 2, which is 8, 1 plus 8 does indeed give us 9. So our solution works. Now I definitely encourage you to have a go at all the others in this set if you haven't done so already, especially number 6. 6 is different from these previous questions because the x and the y terms, none of them are the same. So you cannot eliminate x's or y's by adding or subtracting immediately. So I'll leave it with you to have a look at tutorial number six on simultaneous equations if you'd like to learn how to do that kind of question.